Just look at the beautiful bathroom we're in with the nice marble walls and the big old jacuzzi with the bubbles, uh, the bubble holes around the edge and uh, like controls and stuff uh, for Whirlpool, okay? And uh, beautiful European glass shower with, uh, I guess this changes to like a black slate or something. Uh, on the walls in the in the beautiful shower uh, with the uh, it looks like a growy fixture I imported from Germany. There's probably like two thousand dollars worth of uh, plumbing right uh, plumbing fixtures right there. Never mind the labor. Okay, we come over to the beautiful uh, his and her sink. The problem with this is uh, these are Altman's faucets, Altman's, and watch what happens. Watch right, right here when I turn the water on. Look at that. It, it just drips all over the... Uh... Okay, so um, we're going to fix that right now. I'm going to show you how. Um, without, without taking it apart, just thinking in my head, there's got to be an O-ring in there and it's got to be faulty. So we're going to take this faucet uh, spout apart till we get to the, uh, hopefully, the faulty O-ring. And uh, I have an O-ring assortment in a truck. I'm pretty sure this Altman's company is made in, um, it's made in America, uh, at least the company's in Torrance, although they might import this stuff, but the reason I'm saying that is a lot of the imports are metric standard, so my O-ring kit, although I have like the super duper O-ring kit, is an all American size O-rings. Um, if indeed this is a... Uh, European or metric style or, or standard. Um, I do have a smaller metric uh, assortment, O-ring assortment in the truck, um, but I gotta dig it out. It's under a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm just hoping that it's, uh, that it, this Altman's company is uh, indeed still manufactured in, uh, in the good old US of A and they are still using the American uh, standard. Now one thing, this is shiny chrome and underneath is soft brass. So we definitely don't wanna be using any tools to take any of this stuff apart. If we did find something that was stuck and we had to use a tool, we would use like a rubber strap wrench or um, some sort of like nylon uh, inserts in a channel lock, a nylon uh, jaw channel lock. Um, Although I, I've probably never seen one, but I really never went looking for one. I could probably find one on the internet. Um, but I got rubber strap wrenches in the truck. So if I have to, we can use a rubber strap wrench. But hopefully we're gonna get this apart uh, just, uh, just by hand. All right, boys and girls. So the hook is in. We're gonna take care of this leaky Altman's faucet. It's probably like an eight to $900, just the faucet alone at, at a top end uh, faucet shop. Um, so, you know, when I see stuff like this, I think, like, right away, like, bad design. Because, I mean, I don't know, you figure they'd put, like, a double O-ring or something or an oversized O-ring to uh, prevent this kind of stuff from happening. Because it's really not that old. It's probably just seven, eight, nine years old. And already uh, just pissing water all over the, the countertop. Um, so I think that right away. But anyway, uh, we got the hook in. Uh, now we're going to get to the meat of the video and show you, or, or tr hopefully, because I've never taken apart an Altman's um, two-handle bathroom faucet spout before, and, uh, and see if we could figure out, uh, diagnose the problem, and uh, I'm thinking there's an O-ring in there somewhere, and, uh, and hopefully replace the O-ring. Alright, here we go. The first thing I'm thinking is this button on the top has a knurled has a knurled knob, so I'm gonna first try to get that out, and that seems to have come out pretty easy, and there's no corrosion in there. But you can see the brass, I'm telling you, this is all soft brass. Underneath this chrome is all soft brass. If this was stuck and I put any kind of metal jawed wrench on here to try to loosen it up, I would just leave big gouge marks in it. So there's a little tip for you. You don't want to use any metal jawed uh, tools on uh, on a shiny brass uh, uh, plumbing uh, fixture. All right, so next, we, I would think that this comes off. Okay, that came right off. And uh, here, look, we got a double O-ring and a double O-ring, but the leak was from here, not from there. 
So that's the seal if you want to like move this back and forth, I guess. Um, I was thinking I might have to take this piece out, but apparently that's just a trim piece that we didn't have to take out. Although it did come out. Let's hope the rest comes out. So setting that aside carefully. Next thing we want to is to get this out. So let's try, uh, let's try uh, horsing it out with our fingers. Dry it up so I can get a grip on it. Okay, it's turning. Okay. Okay, so that piece came out. And, um, but it looks to me, there's no O-ring in here. And I don't see an O-ring there. So I, I would think it's down under this trim piece, which is apparently separate from the pop-up lever. So, again, let's dry it off and try to horse it out. Ah, okay. oh, it just moved. Okay. 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 Okay, that comes off. Okay. Oh, look. Look, there's an O-ring. <laughs> okay, so... You could use a small screwdriver or something like that, but they happen to call this tool an O-ring pick. And it's, it's handy for getting O-rings out of their uh, little groove. Okay. Okay, here's the old O-ring. And it is kind of chewed up and stuff. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take this outside and match it up. And hopefully it uh, matches up to an American size O-ring. But before I do that, I want to clean this up a little bit with a, with a soft wire brush. Maybe uh, if I can dig one out of this tool bag here, find a, there we go. I got a brass wire brush. We're going to uh, clean up with the O-ring and the threads gently because this has been leaking. So we're going to have a minimal amount of corrosion and stuff there. We don't want to rip up the new O-ring. Okay, that's cleaning up pretty nice. Okay. Okay. And again, even this soft brass wire brush, if I did it on the chrome, I would, uh, I would definitely mess it up the chrome. All right. <clears throat> I will be right back. We're gonna go look for an O-ring. All righty, here's the old O-ring. And here's one that I matched it up with. And the way I match them up is I just like put one on top of the other. Paying attention, of course, to which is the old one, so I don't end up installing the old one. It's not, it's not perfect, but we're gonna see how it actually fits on uh, over here. And, okay, so that looks like the groove it was in. I don't know, it's kind of loose. I don't like that. I don't like that. I got a feeling. All right, so I, I also have the next size smaller O-ring. I brought it in, and if you see, if I hold them like the one side even, you can see that that uh, the one is smaller. It, it is indeed the next size smaller. Whether or not it shows up on video, I don't know. Yeah, you can see it better that way. It is the right one is indeed smaller. Let's try that one. Where's my O-ring? The O-ring pick also could help install. Not only does it remove, but okay, so I just want to get it down in its groove, okay? That, I like the fit of that better, okay. Now we're going to reassemble. I always like to put a little silicone grease, okay? which is like a plumbing uh, grease on my, any new O-rings I ever install because uh, it just makes them move better between the metal parts and um, acts as a preservative, I would think. So a little silicone grease. Now we're gonna, um, we're gonna, put, we're gonna put this back together in reverse, in reverse of removal. Uh, trying to clean up as we go along as best we can. Okay, so I think I went this way. 
Yeah, it went that way. And it doesn't thread, okay, that just goes on there. So I really didn't have to screw it off. I could have just lifted it off, but it was stuck. So I did have to turn it back and forth to loosen it. Next goes this piece. I'm gonna clean the inside threads as best I can with the wire brush quickly. I'm wipe it down. Okay, so this thread's on. And this is what seals against that O-ring that we just reinstalled. Okay, snug as we can get it by hand. Okay, now I have uh, two double sets of O-rings here. I didn't replace these because they weren't leaking, but I am gonna put a little silicone on them before we reassemble this Altman's faucet. Okay, next, next we put the spout on. I'm gonna clean the inside there. That's where those double O-rings seal up against. Okay, and the last thing is that um, knurled uh, button trim up on the top there. Okay. Okay. And although I do have a lot of water on the countertop that I haven't cleaned up yet, because I don't have a proper uh, large paper towel or a rag with me, I do have them in the truck and I will get them and I will clean up because I never leave a mess. But I am going to clean up this fixture so I can observe any leaks. All right, come on, no leak. Okay, okay we got the water around full. Look at it behind, I look in front, I don't see, I mean it was really pissing out before, I don't see any trouble with this at this point. So I guess it was a faulty O-ring, just as I suspected. And that, that's the joint where everything was pissing out of before. And uh, just to show you it's a bad design, watch as I pan over to the his and her, the second his and her sink. Because this one, indeed, it was brought to my attention. Look at that. <gasps> you see the water coming? It's not as bad as that one, but it has the same exact problem. See it? Right there, look. Look, it's dripping down. Again, leading to my conclusion, the handyman has concluded that this is a PPD, a piss poor design by Altman's on that joint right there. Should have been a double O-ring or an oversized uh, single O-ring. Okay, so let's get, let's get on that one. I won't bore you in the video with this one because we know it's the exact same problem. Here's the second one after my attention and uh, as we can see there's no more dripping water from there and there's no more running down the back. So uh, again indeed it was that same O-ring and again indeed I reassert my proposition that it was a poor design. Now I want to show you one thing about uh, most of these uh, bathroom faucets they have these aerators on them and what you can do is and I just grab it and I unscrew it okay you see all that debris in there on the screen and that'll slow down your uh, your water so you just basically uh, wash it out put that washer back in there screw it back on you should get a better or more even flow when you do something like that. Oh, look at that. Much better. Much better. Let's check the other one. See what's in here. And this is all stuff that comes from uh, the pipes under the ground in the street from the water company and stuff. Look at all that. Look at all that. It's almost totally clogged. Um, and uh, if yours is beyond because you live in a certain part of the country where you got like hard water or something like that and yours is beyond just a simple finger cleaning like that, you can just call Altman's and they'll be more than happy to send you 
a couple of new aerators or a, a new aerator or whatever. And you can just, uh, the aerator is, they wouldn't send, sell you, the, send you this metal trim, but they would send you that plastic aerator that's, that just slips straight inside of that. Oh my God! Um, I'm gonna have a crust ready or something. Okay, so that's why you wanna double check everything. So, uh, all right, so the aerator, if I could show you, the aerator is actually, oh great, look at my lens. Oh, oh you're God. lucky. So the aerator is actually this plastic part inside of here, and um, that went in with the orange side facing up, and then this black gasket went in, black rubber gasket. Now we try to screw it on straight this time. It still doesn't feel right. What's the matter? What's the matter this stupid thing? Is there too much corrosion inside? Yeah, there must have been a piece of grit inside of there or something. Okay, tighten that up and now stand back and double check. Oh, that's just perfect. Clean it out, the water's coming out nice and straight and quiet. So I will tell you, Thanks for watching my videos. I hope I helped you out. Any of you Altman owners or anybody that just wants to learn how to, uh, you know, think with your head and diagnose problems uh, and think ahead of what could possibly be wrong before you start taking something apart. Because uh, I, I've got 20 years experience fixing stuff and uh, I never took a lesson in my life or anything like that. I learned everything on the job. Um, which is a very confident look about me and uh, so people think I know what I'm doing and uh, just take my time and logical progression figure out what's wrong and then fix it um, believe it or not and uh, so while you're here to my handyman zone because it's all kind of home repair videos that everybody needs that kind of stuff use the comment box below for any questions or comments uh, I will show you the customer service number for Altman's before we go in case you need any parts or in case you have to order that o-ring if you don't have an o-ring assortment you would have to order that o-ring and um check out my home channel the handyman zone good day